welcome back to my channel. My name is Sama and in this video, I flew all the way to Singapore to try the Michelin star chicken rice by Hawker Chan. Was it worth it? You'll find out in this video. <laughs> Me and Fraser explored Singapore, went to Gardens by the Bay, Art Science Museum, Jewel Airport, the Pokemon Center, but this trip was planned around the whole idea of trying out Singapore's cheapest Michelin star chicken rice shop. I'm a Malaysian, so I'm a bit biased, lah, okay? I like my Ipoh chicken rice and I will forever claim that it's the best chicken rice on earth, but I really wanted to give Hawker Chan's chicken rice a good fighting chance. <laughs> I mean, it received the Michelin star, so this chicken rice better taste like some sort of Wagyu level chicken, okay? So, off we went to Chinatown in Singapore. We're gonna go and try the Singapore chicken rice. It's over there. You know, I love Ipoh chicken rice. But everyone claims that this one is good because of the Michelin star, so we're gonna check it out. We waited in queue for almost one hour, looking at the menu, reading up all of the Michelin star articles that were posted up around the restaurant. <laughs> it was super crowded, tons of people, and if I'm not mistaken, we paid about like 15 sing dollars altogether for two chicken rice and a drink or two drinks and water. Not the cheapest chicken rice, but apparently for Singapore, that's considered pretty cheap. And the moment of truth. It is time to try the Michelin star chicken rice. I'm gonna try it. Get some of the skin. There's also the chili sauce that we need to try. <coughs> oh, the chili sauce just went in the back of my throat. Fraser's not impressed. It wasn't, it wasn't good. Like, let's compare it to like Ipo chicken rice. That one, I expected it to be at least as decent as like the hawker centers in Ipo, which are like not famous. But it wasn't that nice. Like, the rice wasn't fragrant. The soy sauce wasn't salty enough. The chicken was not seasoned enough. Maybe, maybe it's just my Malaysian palate. But even the Scottish person agrees with me. Overall, it was a bland meal. Yeah, it was bland. It didn't really, really taste it. It was bland. It was bland. So, a no from us. Okay, I know. It was very underwhelming. I was expecting it to be a lot better. Seeing as it is the only hawker that has a Michelin star. So I guess I did set my expectations a little bit too high. What are you gonna do? Especially when everyone keeps talking about it as though it's like the best chicken rice in the whole wide world. You can go anywhere in Ipoh. In fact, you can go anywhere even in Kuala Lumpur and you can probably get chicken rice that is maybe better than the Hokka Chan one, which is saying a lot. I don't want to sound mean and I'm pretty sure that I'm sounding very biased right now because I am Malaysian. But yeah, if you want to try it, Go ahead, no one's stopping you. You're an adult, you can make your own decisions. However, I will advise against it because I don't think it's really that good. Good job to Hokka Chan for getting this Michelin star and opening up franchises all around the world, but I am totally unimpressed by it. So, <laughs> yep. 
anyway thanks for watching this video guys if you liked it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more content like this and i will see you next time goodbye